Thanks. Okay. okay. You've got to get on with it. In you go. No. Wayne, we need to go across the ditch now. Give him something to think about. Team's Persian forces have gone into this phase of the battle in a very aggressive fashion. They've gone into the ditch. Now, they can get through with a small disruption to their formation. The question is, how are they going to use those troops? They seem to be... They're getting stuck here. And then we can see some Byzantine forces breaking. They're using them to screen the disengagement of their own cavalry. That's very interesting. Unless the cavalry are running. They're pulling back their infantry here, but not a great idea to turn your back on enemy cavalry. I think now also you're seeing over here on the flag the Byzantine cavalry pursuing broken Persian units from the field. That's well inside the team's half of the battlefield. So if we come back, you can see another Byzantine cavalry attack against those purple Persians. So basically they're in deep trouble on their right. The question is, can they, by attacking in other parts of the line, compensate for that plan that's carrying? But Earl is trying to micromanage his own right flank. He's not letting the captains get on with it. Yeah. Every time it gets tricky, the generals, look, I'm at the map table. <laughs> no, no generals, just me, and I'm no good. Push the whole lot forwards. Let's sweep, let's turn the flank. Straight in. Straight inside the now. Well, look at this now. The team is just throwing everybody in. There's no subtlety in this. But you never know, they might break through here just with the weight of this attack, particularly on the left. Yeah, if they can get through where their archers have done the most damage. Guys, you've got cavalry way up this end. Yes, we've way got up this end. Them. So you need to get them back Straight into the battle. Them. Okay, now if we go over to the what is the team's left side of the field, things are going a bit better for them. They've got hordes of cavalry going in, pursuing some broken Romans. They need to stop that pursuit, rally, and get them back. And here we can see. Byzantines, Romans running away. Good to see. So things seem to be going pretty well on the team's left, not well on the team's right. We're getting attacked from the back, Jamie. We're, we've got another lot coming behind. We're going to get absolutely slaughtered on this side. Absolutely slaughtered. Oh, I don't like the look of that there. On the far, on the far left. Your archers need to be up to the ditch, and we'll pepper them again. Look at these guys and... moving backwards, away from the oh, ditch. they're running away. Steve, on the left, they're running away. So they're no threat. Now, the bows those archers are carrying are powerful weapons. And different cultures shot their bows in different ways. The Byzantines would pull the arrow back as far as their ear, while the Persians just drew as far as their chest. And it's been suggested that the Byzantines got a bit more range out of their bow that way. Uh, but that the Byzantine archers would get tired fast. We've got our people we'll heading out this right. way again. Right. Straight down over the right. Take them That's the better. Side. They're coming back in now. It looked like some of the Byzantine army was running away. What they were really doing was getting into a better position. Now, looking down on this, the Byzantines are both on the right and over here on the left of the team's Persian army. And that really means they're going to get squeezed. Wayne, you've got a big body of troops still behind the ditch on our left-hand side. It's really so close at the moment, it's impossible to say which way it might go. And for the generals in these battles, the stakes were terrifyingly high. The Persians, if they caught the Byzantines, stuffed them alive and nailed them to trees. The Byzantines, having become a Christian empire, didn't like that kind of barbarism, so they just impaled them instead. OK, send them straight across here to help these guys. What about a general's unit? Who's that? Uh, okay, guys, it's another pause. Captains, run back up quickly if you can take yourself away okay. from what's left of your troops. Use okay. his time wisely. Yeah. Get together around How here. We, Wayne, we need to pepper these and then stop that lot. Right. This is still mostly ours, yeah, isn't it? Do you think we're in with the here on the team's left is 
a whole Byzantine force. Here on the team's right yeah. is a whole Byzantine force and more there. And here is the team caught in the middle. So the team is going to figure out what they're going to do about this sandwich. They've got a tremendous potential advantage. If the team can concentrate against one flank and kick the hell out of one of those groups of Byzantines and then turn around and go for the other, they'll be all right. But if they try to do both things at once, they could get into serious trouble. How are you feeling? Five seconds it looked and good when we it. stormed across the ditch. You can still do it. You can yep. still do it. And you can still lose. Thank you. <laughs> right, OK, fire on now. Yeah, send us straight into that. OK, yeah. There's a unit coming across the ditch at you. Yeah, the one's coming across the ditch. Going to hit you in the side. Face up. Yeah, there you go. Now, the Byzantines, they've taken everything the team could throw at them. They've sucked it up. And now they're coming back at them across this ditch, and unless the team can defend it, I think they're in trouble. Oh, the team's cataphracts are charging right across there. They're going right into that melee. Oh, wow, look at that chaos. This is going to be very expensive. Guys, and, I mean, I can't keep up with this one. I keep thinking it's going disastrously wrong, and then it kind of comes back again. It can go either way right now. If the team can get it together to attack the Byzantines on one side and then turn around and attack the Byzantines on the other side, they could save themselves. They've got a lot of people. They are concentrated in the middle. That might help them. But if they let the Byzantines crush them together all at once, they're toast. It'll all be over. Right. I think there are rather more Byzantines on the Persian side of the ditch than you would want to see at this particular point. Could it still go either way from here? But they're going to have to be pretty special to say. Um, yeah, I think it could go either way, but there are still a few blocks of cohesive Byzantine forces there. Right, I'm going to watch on the floor. See you a bit. Keep moving to the right, Jane. Keep Everything, just keep right. going to the right. Why in the stuff in the ditch? Yeah. Send it. Right? The stuff in the ditch. What's yeah. it engaging? Right. You need to get your car cavalry untangled and get some momentum behind you. Cavalry against my archers on the left. Where's that heavy hand? It that. Um... Come on, guys, pull it together. You are getting into trouble now. Yeah. Oh, we need to engage now. Cavalry turned round in the yeah. ditch. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the side of that line that's going past you. You don't give up. No. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Sorry, that's harsh. Okay. All fold together now. Bring them all together. Fetch them all together over here. What have I got there? You've got to make use of that cavalry. You really have. That's your biggest weapon left. Or it may be your only weapon. Jane, we've got another lot heading off into the, into the wilderness again. Stop there and fire at them. Where is your cavalry now? Basically, here and here. Yeah. Yeah, if Steve thinks he's got cavalry in that ditch, he's dreaming. I think it's a pocket of foot archers being cut into thin strips there. No, oh, there's Jamie's cavalry. They're broken. We've got more people leave, leaving the field here. Where are they going? Oh, that's what I keep saying. We, Jamie's, Jamie, we've got to turn right out, right out behind you. Off again. Jamie, you've got a load of cavalry on the run. Where are they going? Yeah. The third lot we've got. Where do you want that cavalry? Jamie well, sent one lot to Birmingham, I think. Jamie, we've got to get these troops. We've got them almost right off the map. We've got to get them turned round and back into the back. There's Wolverhampton. There's your cavalry. Is this your only unit left? They haven't got control. They're controlled by Adam. OK, they need to stop and fire if they're archers. We're fighting in separate units. This is a really confusing battle. What, what are those guys doing then? Running away? Guys, you could still do this. Keep fighting. Yeah, Keep them in there. Yeah. We've got these guys right down here. It's broken into a series of piecemeal engagements. Um, potentially, that wasn't disastrous for them because they did have the advantage of numbers overall. But I think now we can see that no. it's allowed the enemy to dominate them. You can see that the Byzantines on the field are all coming together. Their strength is converging. And you can see the Persians' strength oh, is there's disappearing. There's a lot of there's Persians lot of routing now, fleeing yes. the field. Slave soldiers don't stick around when the master goes down. Oh, you've still...